Alright guys, what's up? It's the Big Baller Bros here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to clean the Kyrie 4s. Um, there's really not much else to say. Thank you for our 100 subscribers. We just got that like today, or yes, last night. But um, Giveaway coming soon. Giveaway coming soon. Make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you guys how to clean the Kyrie 4s. I know these aren't really dirty. I mean, the bottoms are pretty dirty. Um, we'll zoom in that. We'll zoom into that in a little bit. Um, but I'll show you how to clean the leather, um, the suede, and the upper, and the sole. So, yeah, let's get into it. Alright guys, so what, you, what you're what you going to need, you're just going to need a container, um, a brush, make sure you have like a soft bristle and a more stiff bristle for the sole. Um, if you don't, just be careful, I'll, I'll explain that later. Um, dish soap, you can have any kind, any color, doesn't matter. Um, and water, like tap water is okay too. So what you do is just, I already filled it up, but just get your container, pour some water in it, um, and then put some soap in it. I already did that. I'll pour a little more soap because I had more water and soap because we ran out, but just, just a little bit is fine. And then, yeah, you won't need that anymore, and you're not going to need this anymore. So, so here's the sole. I know the sole is obviously the dirtiest. Um, I mean, that's the only part dirty on the shoe because these literally just came out, but I'm going to show you guys how to clean the, um, the the upper and the suede too because I know a bunch of people are going to be like, how do you clean the suede? But I'll show you guys how to do it, and this will work because I don't know, why, why would I make this video if, if it's not going to work? So first, we're just going get, to get started with cleaning the sole. So what you want to do is you want to get your more stiffer bristle brush and just dip it into the water and soap. And then you pretty much just start cleaning and just you can scrub hard because it's rubber and you won't damage it. So I'm going to speed it up for you guys and I'll get back to you. And just wipe it down with just wipe it down with your towel obviously so you're getting all the grooves and stuff this will work with pretty much any basketball shoe by the way too yeah this worked not just for Kyrie fours but like for the sole because all the soles are pretty much the same yeah so this will work pretty much any basketball shoe you imagine yeah I see even even if it's like an icy bottom too if the if the uh, soaps not out of the uh, like zigzag or lightning bolt or whatever you want to say in the middle uh, I mean it'll just It'll, dis it'll, it'll disappear, disappear by itself. And you can, or, or you can rinse it under the sink. Yeah, you can rinse it under too. the sink too. So, once you're done drying it, just just let it dry, obviously. And and also, once it's fully dry and you get all the soap out of the, the cracks and lightning bowl or whatever the hell you want to call it, just it will you will get really good traction. That's why I clean them before every basketball game so I don't be sliding my ass on the floor so I don't get crossed up. I don't, don't want to get exposed. <laughs> so, so that's why. So now. We're going to go to the upper. I know there's no dirt on it, guys. I know, I know, I know. So pretty much, you literally just get your soft bristle brush and you just literally just scrub in like circular motion, guys. I mean, that's all you really have to do. I know there's no, this will get the dirt off, by the way. You can, I'm, why would I make, why would I be telling you guys this if it's not going to work? I don't give false information. That's retarded. But just, you literally just do that and then you just pat it dry. You just pat it dry with your towel. That's not the same for the uh, suede. Yeah, the suede we're going to show you right now. Yeah, suede's def totally different because you don't want to ruin that. All right, guys. So now I'm going to show you guys how to clean the suede. So make sure you get your soft bristle brush, guys. This is, like, mandatory. You don't want to mess it up. You don't want to use the um, stiff bristles and rip it up and ruin it. Just don't want to do that because you want that soft and you want it, you'll be able to see, like, fingerprints once you, like, pat it. Yeah, you so, still want it to look as good as it was when it was new. That's the point of cleaning it. Yeah, so yeah, that's the point. So make sure you dip your brush in the solution, pat it dry so you don't have too much in there. I'm gonna do it again. Just pat it dry lightly so you don't have too much, and then just do it in one direction, guys. Just, just do it in one direction, and you'll see that everything's all soaked and wet. So just do it. I'm not gonna do the whole shoe because there's no point in doing that. But you just do it one direction. Don't go back and forth and mess it up. And then once you do that, there'll be there'll, there'll be bubbles on it if. You add a lot of soap because I mean, like, 
There you go. And there's the bubbles if you want to see that. So just same with the midsole. You can just go back and forth on the midsole. But just get your towel and then pat it dry. Pat all the bubbles off. And then every few minutes, I recommend you get this. This is, it's called like mint suede and nubuck kit. It comes with like a scuff eraser. This isn't, you don't need this for right now. You, you won't need it for this at all. So you pretty much just do this every like few minutes just to kind of make sure your suede doesn't stick together. Mainly just do it in like one direction and then go back in the other direction. Don't go back and forth. Just do it gently until it's dry. Yeah. All right, so this is the sponge. Just like I said, just go back and forth. You can put it in front of a fan so it does dry faster too. And just do that and when it's dry, make sure you do that as well, so. So guys, that's pretty much it. And as you can tell, you still have like that form. Compare the bottoms. And yeah, I'll compare the bottoms for you guys. This one still needs to dry up a little bit, but it don't matter. So I'll move this. And here's the difference between the bottoms. It was light wear. There wasn't too much dirt. Yeah, there wasn't too much. We just went to like school one day. Yeah. And now, now uh, they're... for the basketball season, so. So yeah, that's what they look like. They look just like how they came out of the box. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, definitely make sure you subscribe to Big Baller Bros. We'll be uploading pretty frequently now. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. It's the Big Baller Bros. Peace out. Peace.